Hello everyone and it's Contemplation Corner time. How are you and Merry Christmas. <laughs> so there's a couple of things I'd like to share with you today. Uh, first is if you remember I promised you I would try this tea from Israel and it's called Shalva tea and I'm going to taste test it right now with you. So let's see. Very, very light. You taste a little bit of the fennel. It's very gentle tasting, not overpowering at all. So if that's the kind of tea you enjoy, you should probably check this out. It's got a lot of healthy herbs in it. So I'll list it below in case you're interested in trying it. So a couple of things I want to talk to you about today is, of course, we're in the Christmas season, and I'd like to share with you something that's been on my mind. You know, first, it's been a rough year with COVID, but I hope that you will not abandon Christmas this year. Yes, it's been very sad. Businesses have been destroyed. People's lives have been wrecked. It's been awful, but that's the beauty of Christmas. When Christmas comes, it brings light to all that darkness. It brings joy to all that misery. And that's why we celebrate Christmas, because when Jesus came, it was not in ideal conditions, was it? There was no room at the inn for Mary and Joseph. They definitely gave birth in a very unconventional uh, uh, way, in less than ideal conditions. So let's remember that, and let's continue to celebrate Christmas and all the wonderful things about it in spite of COVID. I hope you'll take my advice and do that. Um, you know, if you remember, you only get a certain amount of Christmases each year. Well, not each year, but in your life. <laughs> in your life, you only get a certain amount of Christmases. And each one is precious. So enjoy it. The other thing I want to speak to you about is this whole new movement going on, especially in the Christian church, where now people are saying, well, Chris, Christmas is pagan, so we can't really enjoy Christmas because apparently some pagans worshipped trees a thousand years ago, so therefore that means we cannot celebrate Christmas. <sighs> really? Come on now, let's look at this rationally. Just because Christmas was not mentioned in the New Testament, it doesn't mean we can't celebrate the incredible coming of the Savior. You know, think about it. It's the biggest event next to Jesus' resurrection. It makes sense to, to recognize it, to celebrate it. You know, before Jesus came, there was a 400-year gap where people did not hear from God, God wasn't really moving, and they were just waiting and waiting and waiting. And finally, the Messiah shows up. But he doesn't show up in the way that people imagined he would. They expected someone to come as a king. They didn't expect a king to come as a lowly carpenter. That was not their plan. Of course, when Jesus returns, he comes as that king. But they didn't recognize him when they first heard or saw him, did they? Oh, some did. Some did. Those who walked very closely with God, those that knew the scriptures, like in Isaiah. Okay, so the pagan idea that's going around in the Christian circles, you know, it's, it comes out of a heart. These people want to do the right thing. They want to be very orthodox. They want to do everything exactly as it says in the Bible. I have no problem with that. But, you know, we celebrate each other's birthday. We celebrate graduations. We celebrate Fourth of July. Okay, none of those things are in the Bible. So what do we do now? Throw all that out too? No, people. Remember this. In Scripture, it refers to Jesus as the branch. 
And it also tells us how when Jesus was born, he was placed in a manger. A manger was made out of wood. Wood comes from trees. And so the Messiah went on to become a carpenter. A carpenter works with trees. And at the end of his life, he was crucified on a tree. So using a tree to celebrate the birth of the Messiah is 100% appropriate. There's no problem with that. So feel free when you are celebrating Christmas. Look, yes, pagans worship trees. I have never met anyone who worshiped a tree. So don't worry about that. Just enjoy it, enjoy the beauty. And it's an interesting thing. There is a prophetess, her name is Kat Kerr. And Kat has been taken to heaven several times. When Kat has been in heaven, she reports that there is a section in heaven where Christmas is always celebrated. Isn't that something? So if God is okay with Christmas, you can be okay with Christmas too. As long as you're celebrating Jesus. Well, that's it for today. And I hope that you will subscribe, hit the like button, and remember, whatever is true, whatever is just, whatever is noble, whatever, whatever is pra praiseworthy. <laughs>